Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Michael Hunter of Cloud9. How are you today, Michael? I'm well. How are you doing, Tracy? Very good. You know, I have seen Cloud9 advertised absolutely everywhere. You're a relatively new listing. Would you tell the Investor Intel audience, what is Cloud9, please? Cloud9 is a Canadian firm specializing in uh, the design, construction, and sale of English as a second language curriculum for uh, schools and institutions overseas that need um, an English language curriculum as part of their studies program. Perfect. And of course, you and I know, but not everybody out there may appreciate how large the ESL language market is. Can you tell us a little bit about the market size that you're targeting? Well, you're exactly right. I think a lot of people don't realize English generates $35 billion a year annually. That's more than all of the other languages combined, so it really dwarfs the linguistic market. And of course, we also, our investors love the jockey that they're investing in. And you have a fascinating background about how you got into this market. Uh, you were brought up in Africa and you speak all these different languages. Can you give us a quick introduction to who you are? Well, I was fortunate to have some time traveling overseas, as you alluded to. I was born in Vancouver, lived in Kenya, East Africa for a number of years, learned Swahili there, came back, studied some French uh, through high school and university, and then got involved in um, learning Mandarin, Tracy, back in 1987, so a little bit ahead of the curve. Ran a translation company for a number of years, been involved in some mining, but always had uh, an interest in education and specifically uh, linguistics, teaching people how to speak English. Okay, I would say you're way ahead of the curve and the competitive advantage, as I understand it, is your digital curriculum. That really separates you from the pack in ESL. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Yeah, it's interesting, Tracy. You think some of the uh, some of the bigger groups like uh, Cambridge and Oxford would have taken the challenge on to create a uh, cloud-hosted digital curriculum, but it's not the case. And so Cloud9 finds itself, as you said, at the front of the pack, leading the way. Uh, we've created a cloud-hosted uh, digital content curriculum that takes people from, uh, hello, my name is Tracy, all the way through university-level English. It's been designed for delivery in a classroom by an instructor. So this is not a, a self-study program. This is a program that's used by an instructor in a classroom. And uh, as I said, it takes people all the way along, very defined uh, steps as you move yourself from a novice uh, right through to an accomplished English speaker. Obviously, there are some people out there who appreciate the digital curriculum. I noticed a news release about your exclusive selection for Mexican government scholarship program. That sounds to me like the right kind of contract for an ESL company to secure. And give us a, and use us as an example of what Cloud9 can do. Well, it's a great example. We uh, we have our school here in Vancouver, so we have a, a registered, accredited ESL school where we're able to test the curriculum and put it in front of students before it finds its way into the program. But the scholarship program you're referring to, we signed with three institutions in Mexico just a couple of months ago. It, it allows for their students to come here and study English, but more importantly for our investors. It opens the door for us to uh, negotiate our curriculum being made part of their studies program. And just to give uh, investors a, a sense of size, these three institutions have 600,000 students among them in Michoacan State. So putting that into uh, revenue for Cloud9, uh, that's somewhere between 10 and $50 million worth of rev. So those are the kinds of programs that we're, that we're looking at going after. And this actually appealed to me. I was reading a little bit more about you, Michael, and you're really focused on being a revenue positive company and you're relatively new. What should we as shareholders really anticipate, say, in the next couple of quarters as you're working towards that, uh, that very impressive objective? Well, we've been very clear from the get-go that we need to be revenue positive as soon as we possibly can be. Our objective, our current corporate development plan, sees us being in that position by the end of uh, the calendar year 2017, which sets us up for great growth, both organic uh, and assisted growth as we look into the years in front of us. Well, Michael, thank you so much for joining us. We are so looking forward to following the Cloud9 story. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Tracy. Delight to speak with you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.